Hi there, this is Alvin and welcome to kickstartcommerce.com. In today's tutorial, I want to share with you uh, something that I learned uh, just recently in regards of um, capturing a, a screenshot of the browser and specifically a Chrome browser. And so um, obviously if you're using Mac, you can use um, control command three or control command four um, if you're using Windows you can use alt and then press the print screen uh, print screen key say that fast five times um, or you can just simply press the print screen key <laughs> um, by itself to get a screenshot but what I want to show you is um, just this little neat feature because oftentimes you just only want let's say you only want the viewing pane of the browser and not necessarily like the URL and all this other stuff so we're gonna jump right into this tutorial so in Chrome if you uh, select here from the um, basically the chrome settings are it's almost like a hamburger menu type with the three ellipses uh, that are vertical and go to more tools and then go to developer tools and then in developer tools let's see here what you want to do is once you get there, there's another. There'll be another set of ellipses here that um, is acting like a hamburger menu, and then you press that, and then click Run Command and type in um, screenshot. And what'll happen is you'll have this little function here that says Capture Full Size Screenshot. And so if you click it, it'll run. And then essentially once it runs, you'll see it will download here um, as an image. And when you open this image, there is the full screen view of kickstartcommerce.com or that given page that you're looking at. Um, and so it's a neat little feature that if um, let's say you're putting together a wireframe or something and you wanna be able to show um, how long a page is or what given content is on a page then you know you can basically use um, this little feature and so for instance I'll go ahead and click uh, prospecting tools to seal your next domain deal just to show you what a, um, a given page again would look like so once it loads um, go back the ellipses click run command we're gonna look for a screenshot full capture screenshot or and what's what's interesting is you can do a full size screenshot or you can do simply capture screenshot which it will only capture what is uh, in the viewing pane itself so I'm just gonna do a full to show you and then once it runs, it'll download here, we'll open it, and there's that full shot of that entire page. Okay, and then what we'll do is go back and run another, and we'll do the run command, screenshot, and we'll just say capture screenshot. And so it just captures, and you'll see that it only captures what's there now so here's the trick about that if you wanted to you could close out of this um, and you could basically lower so if you wanted nothing more than that screenshot click that run command And then we'll need to do screenshot. And what we'll say is actually we will say capture screenshot. And the problem here is that you can't necessarily see it. And that's the, that's the only downside. Um, 
one of the downsides here to using this is that obviously you want to be able to uh, actually see and so if you click capture screenshot then it'll click that capture screenshot and you get a bit more of the screenshot there um, but again you'll definitely want to make sure that whatever you want to screenshot is above uh, that fold and pretty much from here and the good news is if you need it to um, you could change the orientation of pretty much of the um, of the viewing pane here and so if you wanted to you know you could dock this here on the right side and then show everything but it'll show a mobile view of um, that page or you could even come outside of that and now you pretty much have everything that's there and so if you wanted to then the um, you could run this same command and let's see what this gives us and so that gives you the entire screenshot there and so um, like I said it's up to you with what you're um, comfortable with whether you want to uh, essentially you know keep the viewing pane here docked outside or whether you want to keep it uh, docked to the left docked to the right or docked to the bottom it is your call but I would say you know you definitely I, I probably unseparate or undock uh, the console and then just go ahead and run through um, that screen capture again like I said if you're using a Mac you can use control command um, number three key or the control command number four key um, but essentially if you only wanted to get that viewing pane then that's what I would I would use uh, the developer tools run the command and then do either the full screenshot which gets you the entire page or just run the um, capture screenshot which gets you um, what is in your viewing panel at that very moment so let me know if you have any questions, um, any thoughts, additional comments, details um, of your own experience of trying to capture screenshots. Um, certainly uh, feel free to subscribe to the uh, Kickstart Commerce YouTube channel where I drop a video about digital strategies. Sometimes I'm talking about WordPress tips and tricks. Other times it's tricks and uh, tips as, as such, um, you know, trying to capture screenshots as well as I talk about domain name investing and how to use domains to actually grow your business. Um, indeed, please also feel free to visit kickstartcommerce.com and sign up for the Daily Scoop where I share with you digital strategies that will help you grow your business. So thanks, and that's all for now. We'll see you uh, in the next tutorial.